In today's episode, I'll show you how I 3D printed this, the perfect 45 degree miter sled for my table saw to cut those perfect 45 degree angles and others. I'll show you how I made it on today's Film of Friday. Forty-five degree miter sleds actually exist, but I wanted other angles as well, so that's why I decided to design my own. So I started with my favorite program, Tinkercad, for designing 3D prints. This is the 30 degree version that I created. I also made a 22.5 degree. So I'll make another 45 just to show you how I did it. So I stretched a block 140 millimeters by 5 millimeters by 25 millimeters tall. And then I duplicated that and then took it and turned it 90 degrees. Then I brought those together in a corner, grouped those two together, and then rotated this thing. And I had the beginnings of the, the miter sled. So now I needed a bottom, so I just brought a triangle and tipped it on its side 90 degrees. And then I got the dimensions off the, the two blocks that I put together and made the green triangle just slightly smaller. So it would fit inside of it by just aligning it in the center and center in both X and Y directions. Then I needed to make it a little bit thinner, five millimeters, plus it was offset from ground. So I, I set the offset to zero. Now the bottom here isn't really clean. So I just grabbed another block, made it taller, stretched it out much longer than the bottom, made it into a hole, grouped these together, and now I had a nice clean bottom. Very easy. So the only thing left, wow, well, was the, the slide or the guide underneath. Now this has a critical dimension. It has to match the slot that's in your table saw. In my case, it was 16.60 millimeters. And that's actually like 0.2 millimeters smaller than what I actually measured because of the stretch of the 3D print. And then I made it uh, a little bit longer. You know, it really doesn't matter how long you make it as long as it fits. But I recessed it below five millimeters and then I grouped everything together and that's it. That was the slide. So it sticks down below the bed here, five millimeters. So that's how deep it'll go into the slot. That's it. So now I just needed to load this into uh, Simplify 3D, which is the slicer I choose to use. So I exported the .stl file and then I'm ready to load it into Simplify 3D. Now I turned it on its side here, so I think this will print better, and I'm printing this on my Wanho Duplicator i3 Plus. But the block on the bottom here, the guide, needed some supports just in the corner. I didn't need it all the way up. So I just manually did it with the support tool that's in Simplify 3D. You just kind of pick your spot, slide in there, and drop them in place. I used the default four millimeter size and just basically placed three supports and I was done. And then this thing was ready to be sliced. So let me show you the slicing settings. I chose my Wanho Duplicator i3 profile, PLA, 50% fill so this thing is somewhat strong, a 0.2 layer height, and then six top and bottom layers plus six perimeter shells. Infill 50%, like I mentioned, supports needed to be checked. Temperature wise, 60 degree bed and 200 degrees for the PLA, just standard temperatures. Cooling was turned on and I ran this at 60 millimeters per second print speed. So it was ready to process. So I said slice this guy and it looked good. I couldn't see any holes or any problems with it. So this thing was pretty much ready to send and it said it would take six hours and 34 minutes and 28 meters of plastic. And here's the time lapse really sped up and it came out beautiful and 45 degrees perfect 45 degrees to the blade so time to try it out so i pre-cut four equal size pieces and then used the miter sled to cut the angles now i had to cut one angle on one side of it and then the other angle on the other side so i have two inside angles and i need that so i can form a frame so when i take the four pieces well here i'll let them show you they form into the frame so that's the 45 degree. Now let me try the 22.5 degree. So for this I needed to cut eight pieces and as you can see I have a stop block. That way I don't jam the piece between the blade and the rip fence. There's a little bit of gap there. So I went through each piece so I had eight pieces cut with the 22.5 degree on both sides inside angles and then once I had those I laid them out and again I'll let it show you. Look at that perfect stop sign. So there you have it, another practical 3D print. 
45 degree, 30 degree, and a 22.5. Now I know I'll use the 45 all the time, and in fact, it's so easy to use, I think I'll be using this more than my miter saw, because my miter saw, I gotta adjust it, check it, make sure it's truly 45 degrees, or this. I slap it on, make a cut, I'm done. So the 3D printer, to me, really made this possible. But I'd like to know your thoughts. First of all, do you like it? Give me a thumbs up if you do. And if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching, you want to see more. If you want to help support the channel, of course, a dollar a month to a link up here somewhere. That gets you to Patreon and some behind the scenes stuff. But I really want to know, do you find these useful? Leave it in the comments below what your thoughts are. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.